Next, we'll introduce those functions. Let's focus on sort. There are various sorting methods in an auto sort. Click here, it shows them all. Drag the process bar or click these two buttons. We can preview the process sequence. Each sorting way has the preferred graphics, like the regular and neat graphics. These four will be better. Let's import a figure now. We can say it's a square array. Let's check the left to right. Right to left. Top to bottom. And bottom to top. We can see these four sorting are suitable for this kind of graphics. Let's find a circle and try the bottom to top sorting. We can see it's not fine. There are a lot of empty travels, which will drag down the machine efficiency. Let's change it to the radiation outward. It's super reasonable now, and the clockwise and the counterclockwise are both okay. Small figure prior will cut the smaller figures first. Let's see the display. We can see the small circles will be cut first. Cutting that pattern is mainly for some unclosed graphics, like this graphic. It has been co-edged in CAD. Let's check the open figure in right and try which sorting is suitable. We can see the sortings we talked previous are not fine, but the cutting die pattern is okay. Grid pattern will divide the whole graphic into several sections. Based on our experience, it's more practical in dealing with some complicated figures. It exhibits fewer empty travels. Let's check the local shortest path. We can see for this square array, it's a little messy. For bit direction change here, when we tick it, the cutting direction will not be changed anymore. Identify inner outer contour, it will tell the difference between inner and outer contours automatically while sorting. The four icons here will help us to make minor changes on the sorting order. Let's take the small square to display. From left to right, number one is to put it to the first place. Number two is to move the square to last one. Number three is to advance the square one place. Number four is to move the square back one place. We can see the number changes clearly. If there is no number shown, please click here to get them all. Let's introduce the group now. The function will help us to gather several graphics or groups into one group, and the group will be taken as a whole part. Let's see the two rectangles. Before group, 
We can choose the separated one and drag it to any place. But after the group, we can say it cannot be chosen alone. It's the whole group. When we try to drag it, if we need to disband the group, we can click the group first, and there will be D group shown here. If we need to disband all groups in the down menu, we'll find and group all. We need a note here: D group or N group will disband the groups only. No actions in exploding the single graphic. Let's see the difference. There is a join to group function here. It's mainly used when we are trying to cut some thicker mentos. Let's imagine we are going to cut a 20 millimeters carbon steel plate, and there are four small rectangles. If we cut them separately, we need to get the four perforations set start points, which will be a little waste. But if we can cut the four rectangles by only one perforation, it will increase the cutting efficiency. Let's see how it goes. Choose the drawing group. It prompts a box: Multi Contours Continue Cut. We can set macro joint and max distance here. Let's set the distance to 10 and tick not change path. Back to the graphics. Let's leading from here. Connect the first rectangle, the second, third, fourth, and OK. In this way, we can realize to cut the four rectangles by one perforation. If there are mixed graphics like the square and the circle arrays, how can we get a better sorting? Let's try to sort them directly. We can say it's not good only by one sorting method. We try to group the circle. And click the right key. There is a group sort. We can find the sorting methods here. Let's choose the CW circular pattern. Then the circle group has been sorted alone. Let's try the same way to the square array. Group it and make it bottom to top. We have two groups now. We also need to sort them. Let's make it here, bottom to top. We can see those graphics are in a reasonable sorting. Let's see another graphics. It's a large group including many small groups. We need to sort the small group first. As we talked previous, cutting die pattern will be better for this kind of open figures. Let's check the order. After the small groups are sorting. Let's make the large group in grid pattern. We can see the display. No matter the small or large groups, the sortings are quite fine. Do you have issues on your laser machines? Please put it in the comment below or contact us directly. Subscribe me here so that you get notice as soon as I upload a video for you. Thank you. Bye.